now we'll see another program where we have used uh, some uh, some of the functions of array templates so here this we have already seen now we'll see this program where some more function some more member functions of this array standard library is used now here as usual we have to include this array okay this array is a library function standard library function template function it is that we have included then see here we have declared the array so three arrays we have declared all are of character type and this first array consists of five elements and we have given the name as a1 so here we have used uh, we have declared initialized the values as a1 consists of a b c d e and a2 consists of the these elements now we are declaring another array which is of character type and which consists of 10 elements in that we have declared only initialize only the three elements for that the remaining elements we haven't declared and we have given the name to be a3 now what we are doing is we are going to swap the elements of a1 and a2 remember swap uh, when you are using swap it is a necessary that both the array should have the same type and same number of elements that is why we are selecting a1 and a2 a1 and a3 you cannot swap because this is of type uh, five elements are there and here it is declared as 10 elements so we cannot swap even if the type is same the number of elements size is not same so you cannot select a1 a3 or a2 a3 so you have to select only a1 and a2 so now how to do that see here a1 dot swap a2 so after execution of this statement the elements a2 will consist of the elements of a1 and a1 consists of elements of a2 so now uh, just we are printing the value so after swapping we are printing this value so here uh, the, so this will print the value now we will see size of the array we are using the size uh, and it will return the size of the element as 5 then uh, we are checking whether array is empty or not so here we are using empty function member function so it will return if it is not empty then uh, it will return uh, if empty it returns 1 else it will return a 0 so then we are using the maximum size and then size so all these things we have already seen here in this so accordingly we are using these functions and uh, let me execute this program Now you can see here, see this, uh, you can see the program A1 have consists of this and A2, initially we have uh, initialized them, then we are executing the swap statements, after that only we are printing. So in which case, see here A1 consists of FG, which is the previously A2 elements, now and A2 consists of A1 elements because of this swap statement. Then the size of the array return this and array is not empty because a1 has some value and we are executing that in a1 and then finally maximum size of the array is returning as 10 number of elements in array is uh, 10 because it uh, fill up the values with 0 so it returns the value as 10 